Aujourd'hui, c'est le jour de euh, la haute couture. Défilé, défilé, c'est ça La Seine, le Pont Neuf. Incroyable, hein You know, I come to Paris without my children, without my family. And there's a great temptation to just sit by the Seine and read the newspaper and drink coffee. That's what I'd really like to be doing. <laughs> oui, allô It's easy to lose track of time here, so I should probably think about getting ready. Pour incarner un personnage nouveau, c'est important de trouver les petites choses that help you to leave yourself behind. Costume is so important. And for me, it's all about movement. The two things are inextricably linked. For instance, with the character I'm playing now, I know how I want to move, therefore I know what I need the clothes to do. I need to be able to make shapes. And I think it's important to know what shapes your clothes can make. It's quite exciting what I've chosen to wear, because I think for haute couture, it's important to mark the occasion to enter into the spirit of that little bit of extra, the magic. I found this fantastic padded dress, a bit like a winter coat made of padded fabric, but cut like a complete classic Dior New Look 1947 dress. And the combination is that lovely tightrope of classic and modernity, which I love. I'm just deciding whether or not I might wear a little veil with it. There's something obviously mysterious and playful about a veil, like a bride in black. Oh, le mystère. C'est très important de préparer la peau, le visage et aussi les lèvres. C'est comme en, en, en boisson pour les lèvres. Je suis prête pour le maquillage. Final touches. I use my hands like a palette, always. I prefer small brushes. I think the face is a delicate thing. And here is a little area in the waterline of the eye, which is very delicate. And I think it's important to lift the eye because you want the line to go up, not the eye be pulled down. So I always take out these little corners and then push it in with the heat of my finger. I think makeup is never a mask. It's a veil. Grillo. I think gray is always very chic. I always have a different scent when I'm playing a character. I don't want to be all dressed in a costume and then have my own familiar scent. I'm just deciding whether to wear one earring or whether to wear two. I think one is cool, but I think that I like the little bit of movement that this one gives. Il faut faire un, un petit décision. Bien. What do you think? I think it's couture, no? I think it was really witty of Maria Grezia to hold this show in front of these embroideries because you have the composure of the models, their structure, and then behind them you have the raw energy of these embroideries. And I think you see something like this, and, okay, are we looking at animals or are we looking at people? What's amazing is when you see what looks like one thread on a bare back, and you know that that is only possible because the structure on the front supports it. It's like building a bridge. So I love the fact that Maria Grazia can play with silvers and things that catch the light, and then she can use her blacks and dark colors. They're really saturated and they absorb light. I almost feel a female energy in his work and a masculine energy in her work. To me, this seems to an embodiment of femininity. It's a, I, lo I, I love it, I love it. Thank you, Maria Grazia. Thank you.